Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about the Google Chrome's new DevTool MCP for your AI agent. So this is an all new MCP server, pretty much like the Playwright MCP server or any other MCP servers that you might have seen to do the browser automation. This particular MCP server is now shipped by the very own Google Chrome team itself, which means now this particular MCP server has got more capabilities than what Playwright MCP server has got. Well, you know that we already have got the Playwright MCP server by Microsoft and also there is a Playwright MCP server by me who has created this Excel Automation Playwright MCP server and we have been using this Playwright MCP servers for quite long time and you know about all these stories. If you have watched my other videos in Excel Automation YouTube channel as well as in my courses uh, in Udemy. And these MCP servers as you know are all created using the Playwright tool behind the scene and it is going to work uh, for you to to do the browser automations and stuff. That's exactly what the Playwright MCP server of Microsoft does as well. As you can see, it provides a browser automation capability using Playwright. And this server enabled LLM to interact with the web page through structured accessibility snapshots, bypassing the need for screenshots uh, or visual tuned models. Right, And this is exactly what is addressed by the Google Chrome team as well. The Chrome DevTool MCP server changes this, which means now you don't really have to do the programming with a blindfold on. Rather, the AI coding assistants are able to debug web page directly in the Chrome and benefit the DevTool debugging capability and performance insights. So this is one of the most important selling point of this MCP server as opposed to the Playwright MCP servers that we have got. And this particular MCP server, as you can see over here, can do a lot of things, which is not just related to probably for testing, like how we were using the Playwright MCP server, but now this guy is going to be used for even development purpose. That is what is the power of this particular MCP server. And while I say development, you can do quite a lot of different things once you configure this MCP server, and then you can ask the, uh, the prompt here saying, verify in the browser that your uh, changes works as expected, and you can also check if there is image not loading in the page, can you check whether the image is fully loaded, or uh, what is going to happen if the, um, the application is running very slowly, can you go and check the performance and things of that nature. So these are some of the prompt, but I will show you this particular execute automation website that I have built can be tested using this particular MCP server. So I'm going to do everything like a real time and I will show you how amazing this particular Google Chrome's uh, DevTool MCP is, uh, which can make your life way more easier, especially for developers in, in this particular scenario, because this is going to help you as an UI engineer. You don't even have to spin up the application and see how things work. You can keep running that inside in a silo, and then you can do the debugging of your application prompt, and everything is going to happen like a magic. I will show you all of these uh, in this particular demonstration. So this is the application that you are seeing over here, the Excel Automation website. Uh, and this is the code base uh, for the entire website over here. And I am going to uh, ask the questions from the Google uh, DevTool protocol uh, and we'll see how that works. So you can see that this particular MCP server is already been configured over here, the uh, Chrome DevTool, which is this one. And the configuration is very, very straightforward. All you have to do it is just do Command Shift P or Control Shift P in Windows go to the MCP server list uh, and you can see that we have got the Chrome dev tools over here and then you can select the show configuration and this is the configuration that I just copy pasted from their website which is nothing but the Google uh, Chrome's website. See that this is what I have just copied. The Chrome dev tool, command npx and arguments, the same exact thing. I have did nothing beyond that and if I'm going to start this particular MCP server it is just going to run. Just a word of caution, if you're using the old Node.js version within your machine, make sure that you're using the latest version, the 20.19.5 or something like that, which will make this particular tool running. If not, this is going to throw you an exception, something, something like that. See that now the Chrome Dev tool is running for us over here. Now we can actually start prompting and then we can get our job done. So I'm going to say uh, in the chat window over here, can you open the... Uh, maybe just like that. Can you run the application and see how the application works in Chrome browser? So I'm exclusively saying work with the Chrome browser so that the uh, the Chrome DevTool uh, MCP server is going to be invoked. See now the Cloud Sonnet is going to go and check uh, like how the application should be executed. So I'm just going to say hello and this is going to start executing run the application 
And as you can see, it has executed. It is executing the Safari browser right now. And because I have told to open in the Chrome browser, now it is gonna go and check. I mean, this particular command is going to go and check if this guy is up and running. And then it is gonna invoke the uh, Chrome dev tool uh, MCP server. And then it's gonna run from there. Look at that. Now it's invoking the Chrome dev tool. I'm gonna say allow in this workspace. And you can see that the website is up and running for us over here. And the moment I start running this particular uh, Chrome dev tool, you'll also notice that uh, it is doing quite some uh, test operation for me over here, meaning uh, it is doing some snapshot taking and then it is going and checking in the menu if the pages are loaded correctly or not. Maybe it's gonna go and randomly click any one of the cores uh, and see if the the page is loading there or not as well. So you see that now everything has been doing over here, allowing this workspace. Yeah, I think it's doing, yeah, see it's doing some search operation like AI testing over there. And it just thinks that um, this could be a good thing for doing a quick test. Look at that. See, I have not told anything right now. All of these are done and taken care by the Chrome DevTool uh, protocol. Uh, okay, I think it's just running it. Yeah, and perfect. Now it says that, uh, yeah, it's doing a lot of testing to be honest. Fabulous, so you see that? Just, I told to run the application uh, in the uh, Chrome browser and see how the application works. It did a monkey testing, like everywhere, just going through many different menus and then it did the testing for me, which is amazing. So that is how it is gonna do this operation. And now I'm going to say, so just want to show you like how this particular tool is itself. So if I'm gonna go to the uh, Chrome dev tool over here, uh, not like that, maybe just gonna hit this particular tool. And if I'm gonna expand this Chrome dev tool MCP server, you can see that they have got quite a lot of different operations. Uh, something like click, which you just saw how it worked. And they also have close page, drag and drop, but they also have emulate CPU, emulate network. Uh, and they also have get network request and then they have some other thing like a list of the network request uh, and list console message and performance analysis inside, performance start trace, performance top trace. So these are the things which I have not really built in my Playwright MCP server. And the same thing goes for the Microsoft Playwright MCP server as well. These things are not there in built uh, as a tool, but the Chrome DevTool MCP server actually has that. That is one of the amazing thing. So now what I can do like a small prompt over here is run the application in 3G, 2G and fast internet uh, networks and see how the application uh, performance is and uh, where it slows down. See, I'm basically gonna ask the MCP server to do quite a lot of different operation. Look at that. Now, the moment I say that, it is going to start running the emulator, uh, emulation network over here. That is the tool that is gonna be invoking. Uh, and it is running the uh, test. So the first test it is running is on the uh, fast 3G network. So which means it's gonna be a bit faster there. Uh, and then see that it's also running the tool performance start tracing and it's doing some sort of uh, uh, computation uh, behind the scene to see what's really going on there. And now it is also going to run in the slow 3G, which means like, 2G network for that matter, or maybe any other slowest network compared to the 3G network. So that's gonna run that test as well. Uh, and then it is gonna probably run in the fast uh, network. So all of these tests is gonna be run by the uh, MCP server, and then it is gonna give us a complete result. So these are things which was kind of missing in my period MCP server as well as the Microsoft period MCP server. And these are things which are gonna make our life more easier now see that we're just trying to interact like a like a developer if they really wanted to see the performance of a specific page like the component that they have built and wanted to ensure that everything works fine or not they can just prompt there and they can immediately get the result um, back from the mcp server because now they are working directly on the browsers and because this MCP server is also built by Chrome, like Google Chrome. Uh, they have the full knowledge of how things are working. Just to give you a context, this Chrome DevTool uh, MCP server is powered by Puppeteer behind the scene. They're not really using Playwright, but they are using Puppeteer. And you also know that Puppeteer was the original tool which was built exclusively for automation of the Chrome browsers. And then later it was acquired by Microsoft and the team went to Microsoft and then they created this tool called as Playwright and things. So that was the story behind it because 
Chrome knows how to control the browser because they're building the browsers. Uh, they, they know what's really happening behind the scene and these are all just working as expected. Cool. Now you see that there is the performance summary coming up over here for us. Like it did a lot of testing for the application and it says that the fast internet, the uh, LCP are the largest contentful pane took 190 milliseconds, uh, which is a render delay of 187 millisecond. And for the fast G, this is the total number of uh, render time. Uh, and you see that it is still... Uh, Accept, like excellent, good, and acceptable. And that is acceptable with the slow 4G and slow 3G. Uh, it takes this much of time. And you see that it gives like a full details of how you can get like a holistic picture of how the site is behaving. This is, to be honest, for a developer's point of view, like while they build a heavy loaded UI page, if they want to quickly get the performance insight, this is going to be very good and very helpful. I know you can go to the network trace and then you could do the network trace analysis. You can get that information and see the performance as well. Those things you can do it, but this is way too faster and way too easier to do it, right? Because you can do everything from the prompt in your Visual Studio course, GitHub Copilot itself, which is amazing. And once you have this, I'm also going to show you how you can help or how you can get the help from the GitHub Copilot to do a fix of the code as well. I know in my website, as you can see, if I try to scroll, see, I'm actually scrolling my my browser over here. It took so much of time to, to get up and down. So I know there is a performance problem, and I want this to be fixed as well. So how, as a developer, I can fix this particular problem? Well, I can say that in the home page, I see the scroll performance is very slow from the component, uh, and I'm gonna just say, like from the start your journey, right? Start your uh, journey uh, button, and getting to the next item, which is the which course you should start with, which is this one. It takes a long time, and the scrolling is not smooth. Can you fix the uh, scrolling issue and make it smooth uh, animation? Something like that. I know the smooth spelling is wrong, right? The moment I do this, now what's gonna happen is because the large language model will get the context of what exactly it needs to be done in order to go and fix this issue, uh, it will going to, uh, it is just going to open the browser and then it is going to run that. But before the large language model, we just go and do the fixing of the code by just analyzing what's really happening in the scroll animation.cs file that I have got over here. Uh, and then it's understand the code and then it's going to go and uh, run the, the fix for me over there, but it can't able to run the application and see if the performance of the scroll has improved or not. But now, because we have given the Google Chrome's uh, dev tool MCP server, it is gonna have the context and it is gonna fix the code, run that in the browser right away, like a developer, like how it, he does that. And then it is also gonna analyze whether the performance has improved and then it is gonna fix that issue. Uh, and then it is gonna keep on applying reiterating before it knows that the, the fix is working fine or not. So that is what really happening for us behind the scene. So it is gonna go and fix the scroll animation for us over here. As you can see, it has found the issue, but it has not really executed the code. The moment it needs to execute the code, it is gonna go and invoke the Chrome uh, MCP server or the Chrome DevTool MCP server, and then it's gonna see how that works. So we'll just wait for the uh, the execution to complete. I see there is a syntax error as well while it's trying to build it. So once the execution is complete, we'll see what's really gonna happen. Cool, you can see that I think it has fixed the entire issue right now and it is gonna to navigate to the application one more time and it's gonna see if the application is working as expected. And I think it has navigated and now it is gonna probably do a scroll operation and I think it's gonna see how that is gonna work. So let's see if uh, the Chrome DevTool MCP server can do it. Oh yeah, just continue to iterate. So you can so see that it has scrolled uh, a bit over there and now it's again doing a performance trace to see if there is any performance impact while it is trying to do that scroll operation 
uh, and it's doing a fresh uh, scroll again to see the trace to see how that really works so you see that it's now doing a lot of performance check as well behind the scene while it is going to do the test for us uh, to see if that performance has improved look at that now the scroll animation is quite amazing and this was not the case before like it used to be like uh, juggling around and it used to not scroll perfectly but now it is doing perfectly this is amazing so this is how we can see that we can use the uh, google chrome's dev tool uh, mcp server which is going to make our life way more easier uh, like how we used to do uh, or used to use the Parrot MCP server. But now this is exclusively for developers like UI developers who are going to be building their applications and making their testings way more easier instead of just you know deploying their application and running it and then seeing how the performance has improved. Now they can just work like in side by side to see how things are working, which is going to be even more amazing. So they see that now I'm not even told if you want to test it in the 3G network. So it's also doing a slow 3G network just to very whether there is any impact on the performance over there this is amazing right i think i'm going to check in this particular code to my main branch uh, i know that currently in my execute automations uh, over here the execute automation site over here there is a uh, scroll issue see that now still i'm scrolling it took a bit of a time to do the scroll the moment i'm going to check in this particular code you are going to see that code update coming up as well i'm going to quickly go and create a uh, branch over here so i'm going to say create a new branch uh, fixed scrolling issues there we go and i'm going to also write this particular commit details uh, from the uh, github copilot itself i'm going to publish this particular branch and it's going to be available for me uh, in my uh, Visual Studio over there. So I'm just not going to add any of the things over there. See that I can also ask the GitHub code review uh, to do a code review for me in the meantime. Uh, and you see that now the code is also going to be executed. I can see what's really happening behind the scene uh, in my code execution uh, because I'm running it in the pipeline. So I can see what's really happening over there and the moment it is going to be fully built it is going to be deploying in my azure and then it's going to do things which is amazing see i have not done anything over here it's all done by the uh, mcp server of the chrome dev tool and this is awesome let's let me know your thoughts about how you are going to be using this chrome dev tool in your development and testing workflow and how it is going to improve your productivity in the comments below once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one